Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Leviathan and I'll be going over a bard build uh, for beginners just so that you can get your way around some boss fights and even a couple of PvE quests that you need to do. Now in this build we're going to be going over the skills and tripods you're going to need, uh, engravings, and stats. Uh, this is kind of an all-around kind of build so it's kind of good for everything and especially supporting your team. Um, I mainly use this doing raids, dungeons, and abyss dungeons uh, to essentially try to deal out as much damage for the rest of my team um, while also giving them uh, shields as much as possible. Now let's get into it. So to start off we're going to go ahead and pick up Sound Shock. Uh, it's a relatively low cooldown uh, skill so you can always spam this out as much as you can and do a good amount of damage. With the tripods, you're going to go ahead and pick up Quick Prep. Quick Prep is just going to lower the cooldown, and then Sacred Shock uh, is going to be turning it into Holy Damage. And also, damage received from all party members is going to be increased by 10%. So it's a little bit of a damage buff for your team members to be able to dish out some more damage. Next skill we're going to go ahead and get into is going to be Wind of Music. Now, Wind of Music is going to be your main um, skill to raise up your Serenade Meter. Now, with this skill, it's also going to be your main source of your shield. So, with this, you do deal damage in a small area uh, while pushing foes. Um, and within a 1 meter area, uh, you can actually give off a shield with the correct tripod selected. Now with this skill I do have it maxed out, so what you're going to want to go ahead and pick up for tripods is going to be quick prep for a cooldown reduction, melody increase which is going to help out um, your serenade meter gain by 150% at level 1, wind of protection which is actually your shield, it creates a shield that absorbs damage up to 25% of your max HP. Um, and all party members hit by Wind of Music, so essentially in that one meter area, uh, they get it for a good amount of time, of four seconds. Hey guys, before we continue on with the video, uh, please leave a like um, if you guys want to see more of this type of content of more beginner builds. Um, and leave a comment if you guys want to see a specific type of build, um, whether it's like a Surge Blade or... Um, a berserker class basically anything just let me know um and if you guys would drop a sub that would be very much appreciated uh, it'd be kind of get me rolling on getting more of these videos out a lot sooner for you guys uh so let's get on with the video so your next pickup is gonna be preluder storm now with preluder storm you're gonna be dealing a one meter lightning uh circle essentially around you um, that deals a good amount of damage um, and also helps gain your serenade meter up a lot quicker. Now with quick prep, uh, it's going to essentially lower down your cooldown. Melody increase is going to increase your serenade meter gain. And you don't have to go with lightning concentration, but I do highly recommend it since it lets you cast this skill at a distance. Now, without lightning concentration, you are dealing damage in a one meter area, meaning you need to be very close to the boss in order to deal that damage. But with lightning concentration, it'll do it in a straight line at 11 meter distance, so you can deal it at a range to still be able to get that meter gain and damage off. Now, our next pickup is going to be Rhapsody of Light. With Rhapsody of Light, it's going to be a cast skill, so you do need to be standing still in order to deal this damage um, for a total of four seconds, I believe. Um, it does deal a good amount of damage, and it is holy damage, which is um, one of the best um, damage types. And in terms of tripods, you're going to want to ahead and go with Quick Prep for cooldown reduction and Note Brand. With Note Brand, it's going to be kind of like your um, Sound Shock. With Note Brand, you're going to be dealing 10% um, extra damage for all your party members. So it does help out your party in terms of dealing more damage or dishing out that damage more effectively. 
especially when they cast their ultimate or anything just that 10 percent increase does help out a lot now your next pickup is going to be heavenly tune and heavenly tune is going to be your main support skill um, with this you do deal damage in a 24 meter area which is quite big um, and it also increases the mp recovery speed by 40 percent for eight seconds now with the correct tripods which are going to be quick prep for a cooldown reduction tough tune which actually increases attack speed and then intense tune now any additional existing effects um, go to all party members and increases attack power of the caster's default attack power so essentially it just gives you more of a boost in terms of dishing out damage so your next supporting skill that you're going to be uh, utilizing a lot is going to be guardian tune now with guardian tune it does give you a uh, damage uh, reduction on all party members affected by it by 27% uh, for 8 seconds. Now with the correct tripods um, you could actually get an extra shield on top of that uh, so I'll go over that real quick. Tripod number one is going to be mind enhancement that's just going to reduce uh, the MP cost of it by 53% at level 2 I believe at 50% at level 1 um, and then tripod two will be endless protection now endless protection will give you a uh, shield after the full duration of the initial eight seconds um, and it'll be a shield of 15 percent of your max hp and that shield will last eight seconds now it's a pretty useful shield in terms of making sure that like, all your team members are taking the least amount of damage possible so i do recommend spamming this out with heavenly tune so that you can get not only damage off, also get protection for incoming damage. Now for our main damage skills, we're gonna go ahead and pick up our Soundaholic. With Soundaholic, basically just a laser beam of death and tripods all you need is gonna be sound concentration, which essentially increases the damage up to 30%. Sustained enhancement, which increases the duration and hit amount, but also increases the cooldown. And also focus fire. Now focus fire, it's gonna be reducing the duration of it as well. Um, but it also deals 700% more damage with sustained enhancement. So with sustained enhancement and focus fire, you're gonna be able to deal out a lot of damage. And for our next skill, it's going to be Sonic Vibration. Now with Sound Vibration, it is a cast skill, but it's relatively quick, but I do recommend having a shield, um, at least active when you cast this, just so you don't get pushed out or anything like that. Um, it does lift the targets up, um, as long as not push immune. Um, and it does deal a good amount of damage and slams them back onto the ground. Now with the correct tripods, uh, you're going to go ahead and go with protective vibration, which just gives you a uh, shield on hit, which is pretty useful because usually when I cast this skill, I usually get basically slammed or picked up on a lot of damage since you do have to stand still to cast it and wait for it to be cast fully. Now, the second tripod is going to be Brilliant Wave, which deals holy damage and also increases the attack power of anyone that's standing inside the area of Sonic Vibration. Now, this will be increased by 15% and raising overall attack power by 6% for 2 seconds. Now, 2 seconds doesn't seem like a lot, but again, if you're with a Surge Blade that can dish out a a lot of damage very quickly those two seconds are pretty vital so you do need to know at least where to place this um, when casting to be the most effective the last skill that you're gonna want to pick up is Symphonia Symphonia does deal a lot of damage within a 12 meter area but it also gives off a shield um, at a hundred percent of your max HP for 10 seconds so it is a very very useful skill especially um, when being stuck in an area that you can't get out of where you're gonna be 
getting dealt a lot of damage. Uh, another thing about this, it does decrease the foe's attack power, attack speed, and movement speed for 10 seconds. And one of the best things about this skill as well is that it also gives you one bubble for your serenade meter. Meaning that once you cast this, you can actually use your Serenade of Courage to dish out more damage. Or if you need a little bit more support, you can actually use your Serenade of Salvation to give off a heal. I do recommend going um, Serenade of Courage uh, since it is going to be more effective in terms of having your team deal more damage. And in my opinion, more damage is better to be able to defeat the boss quicker next I'll be going over um, some stats that you're gonna be essentially needing I do recommend going with swiftness since this does um, decrease your cooldowns for your skills um, having a good amount of points in specialization as well just to have the MP to cast these skills since they are very very MP heavy and the rest can be put into either domination for uh, more a stagger effectiveness slash damage being dealt or crit just to deal out a little bit more damage with your damage skills but swiftness is my to go to um stat to raise just for the cooldown reductions because the faster you can cast those spill those spells the more you can support your team and have them dish out more damage so the first uh, engraving that you're going to want to pick up is Awakening. This is going to decrease your cooldown of your um, Awakening skill um, quite, by quite a lot and at level 3 by 50%. And this will be able to help you get your Serenade meter up again when you cast your Awakening skill. It does give you a bubble so you can be able to get that bubble kind of a lot quicker. Next skill you're going to want to get is MP efficiency increase now this increases the recovery of your mp when it's at 50 percent or lower um, and also increases damage to foes by 12 percent which isn't too bad um, next engraving will be true courage now true courage is going to be your serenade skill uh, this is going to essentially allow you to dish out more damage uh, by 20 percent and increased crit rate by 10 percent for your team Next engraving will be Heavy Armor. All defenses at level 3 will be increased by 100% and this will help you survive a lot more since you are very very squishy support. Um, especially not being able to take a lot of that damage in terms of shields. It's very useful to pick up Heavy Armor as a main engraving skill. And then lastly, to make this all rail rounded uh, together, it's going to be Expert. Now, Expert is going to be a shield and healing effectiveness engraving on all your party members by 24%. And if a target's HP is 50% or lower, um, then it's going to be 12% additional effectiveness.